So hear this. Everything around you is contending against your faith. And if you were to measure your faith by your faith, what do you think it'll be reading? What do you think it'll look like? And what kind of faith did the likes of um, these guys, Abraham, Noah, Abel, you know, what kind of faith did they have to the point that according to Hebrews eleven thirteen, it says that all those people were still living by faith when they died. They did not receive the things promised them. And God is not a liar. Yet they held on to faith. What kind of faith did they have in the same Hebrew 11? Come with me to uh, verse 36. There about, it says, Others who exercised faith were tortured, refused to be released so that they might gain a better resurrection. Some faced jeers and flogging, while some were chained and put in prison. Hear this. Some of them were stoned and some of them were sawed in two. Sawed in two. Yet, they exercised faith. What word were they listening to? What? I don't think it was men's word. I don't think it was those sweet nothings you know, that we have everywhere right now, motivational speaking. My heart breaks when I see the church turn to a motivational center. You see them on Facebook everywhere. And, and people get, you know, like they cheer on, they cheer on. Those things you hear, they are not, they cannot build your faith. The Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing only by, the only, only by, only by the word of God. Only by the word of God. That is the only way through which your faith can be maintained and can grow. Not through words, men's words. Not through societal dictations. Not through peer pressure. Not through any fanciful. Only by the word of God. This is the only way through which your faith can grow. Let me take you to Ephesians chapter 6. All right? It says in verse... Um, 16. It says, in addition, take on the shield of faith, which is able to extinguish the fiery darts of the enemy. The fiery darts, you see those Abraham, Abel, Cain, the, those people that died even without seeing the promises. Do you, do you know why they were able to hold on to their faith? Because they heard the word of God. They kept walking with God. The word of God helped them to stand firm in Christ. It was the word of God. It says again, um, Ephesians 6, uh, where is it now? 17. It says, uh, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. My friend, if I may call you my friend, I encourage you. If God has told you to do something, it'll take God's ways to keep that thing and to keep doing it. And God has told us to feed on his word. He says, this book of the law shall not depart from you. I ask you, I encourage you, pray. As much as it's good to pray and ask God for a couple of things, also ask him, Father, according to Isaiah 58, 14, it says that, then shall you take delight in the Lord. And then he says that, I will make you to walk upon the high places of the earth and I will feed you the heritage of your father, Jacob, that the mouth of the Lord has spoken this and will come to pass. It takes delighting in the word of God. Delighting in the word of God comes by studying the word of God. It comes by praying. Ask God to teach you how to pray, how to stay in his word. May the Lord keep you in these dangerous times. In Jesus' name. Amen.